been tagged by Scrapology to share my 2011 favorites and must-haves. So let's go ahead and get started. And my top three favorite things from 2011 are kind of big. Um, one of them is my silhouette. Now I got the Cameo in 2011, but the Silhouette SD, which is um, the die cut machine that I got in 2011, and I love my die cutter. I use it mainly for scrapbooking and cutting out titles, and I just love the store and all the different things and Carrie Bradford's website. So, um, so that's my number one. Number two is going to be my Canon Pro 9000 Mark II. It's a large format printer. I think it does like 13 by 19. Um, but the photo quality on this thing is amazing, and I've been using it for a couple months, and I have yet. Um, I think it takes like eight different inks, which is quite a few inks, so it's very expensive, but. I did find, um, so far I haven't changed the printer before and it was terrible photo quality and um, I changed the ink like seems like once a week. Um, so that's my top two and then my top third for um, 2011 is my sewing machine that Scott and Ethan gave me for Christmas. Um, I sew like I drive, I'm a maniac and I had a sewing machine that I got um, right after Scott and I got married and I've had it for 15 years. We had a love-hate relationship. I love to learn how to sew. Never did because the sewing machine hated me. So um, Scott got me this one and I love it because it has speed control and it's so easy to use. So those are my top three. Um, well they're not really my top three. My number one um, absolutely is all of you guys. All of my blog followers and my YouTube followers, you guys are the best and um, you're the reason why I keep doing videos. So thank you so much for all your sweet comments and, and love and support. Um, and then of course you have to have, when you're scrapping, a cup of coffee. And I have it all the time. Even when I go to start to make a video, I go down um, to the kitchen and get myself a cup of coffee and bring it up to my craft room. And So that's like, I have to have it. It seems like it's a staple in my craft room. Oh, speaking of staples, Tim Holtz stapler. Why not, right? That's, um, I love this because I not only use it for scrapbooking, but I keep it actually on my, my computer desk and I use it for just about everything um, office related. So, gotta have the Tim Holtz tiny attacher. Um, and I've done this video five times because I keep leaving stuff out or I make the video and go, oh, I should have put this in. So, um, I'm probably going to leave something out and I'm not going to number these because I keep forgetting what number I'm on. That was another reason why I keep doing the videos because I forget what number I'm on. So, all right. Anyway, onward. Oh, let's get stuff all over my desk. Um, Crapodile. Love my Crapodile. Um, it's by We Are Memory Keepers. I use it for when I'm doing my mini albums and I also use it always for the um, hole punch. This is the 3 16th inch hole. So if I need to make a hole, that's what I use. And if I'm putting a brad in or something like that, I use the smaller side. So, gotta have a crocodile. Um, my next up, and I'm sure everybody has the Tim Holtz tonic scissors. I've got two pair of these and um, they have lasted me forever. I They seem like they never get dull and I use them for terrible stuff, like cutting brads apart, like cutting the backs off of brads and stuff. So. Um, they are getting to the point where it's getting harder for me to cut ribbon, so I had, did get to buy a special pair of scissors for cutting ribbon. Um, next up, at this point nothing's in order as to my favorites, but um, next up is adhesive. I love my ATG gun. I had the red one when I first started. Um, I got the pink one not too long ago because my red one I always had a little bit of problem with. Even It worked, but it just drove me nuts sometimes. So I have never had a problem with this pink one. I always keep the um, acid-free tape in there. That's the only kind I ever use. And I order my tape from, um, where do I order my tape from? Crap and Stick. And um, they're, so far, from what I can tell, is the cheapest. Uh, I've gotten the tape from Michael's because they sell the ATG, sorry, ATG gun at Michael's. But for some reason, that tape doesn't, I always have problems with it not fully sticking or it's getting, it gets stringy or something like that. So, but love my ATG gun. Um, my other, my liquid adhesive is always Scotch Quick Dry. Love this. I started using this when it was really ridiculously cheap for like either a dollar or two dollars a bottle at Big Lots. So I have a couple bottles. Well, this I'm only down to probably one one bottle after this one. And my other one is my removable adhesive, and I just use this Tombow um, mono adhesive that I get at my local craft store, and you can get the refills like at Michaels, AC Moore, I think Joann's. And I use this a lot when I'm 
going to sew on a scrapbook page or something like that, um, I'll just put this down to, to hold my paper in place. Alright, so that's my adhesive. Inks. Now, I'm not a fru... I don't... Like, I don't over... I don't embellish a lot. I don't like a lot of flowers. Um, I try to keep things really simple. Um, my scrapbook pages I just keep really simple because I don't want to keep them in my album. And my cards, I, I, I mail all of my cards mostly. Um, so I try to keep them really simple. So I don't use a lot of flowers and stuff like that. But I love to embellish uh, with everyday stuff. So the most of the stuff you're going to see now is kind of like my staples in my craft room. Um, distressings. I mean, I love all of the distressings. But if you watch my videos... I'm usually antique linen or vintage photo. My other one is tattered rose. If you don't have distressings, I recommend trying out and you want to try them, I would recommend these two along with the tattered rose. Because most of these you can find at your local stores. You don't have to order online or anything like that. Um, my other favorite inks is Jenny Bolin. Um, I love Jenny Bolin inks. They're by Ranger. They are a um, dye-based ink. And... Um, my favorite colors, these are just a couple of my favorite colors. I love speckled egg, I love that color. Brown sugar, stick candy, and cough syrup. Love these colors. Okay, so that's my inks. Um, another thing that I love, and I've used this a lot in some of my videos, like when I'm doing Cricut or stuff like that that has tiny pieces, my Quick Cuts Quick Stick. Now, I don't know if they make this anymore. Um, I know Silhouette has, uh, Silhouette America has something, um, similar to this. It's got, like, what I like to call, like, silly putty on the end, and it's sticky, and you can use it to pick up little tiny pieces, and then the bottom comes off, so you can kind of use that to hold your piece in while you take the sticky end off. So, that is a staple in my craft room. Um, I don't, you know, I don't, I, I, I like this better than even my tweezers, so. Um, so there's that. Um, a couple months ago, or, well, I don't remember how long ago, it, it might have been over the summer, my awesome friend, Terry, sent me the Seven Gypsies, um, stamps, and they're all different kinds, but the one thing I had told her I needed was a date stamp, and she sent this to me, and I love this for scrapbooking. So, it's just a Seven Gypsies date stamp, so that I can go ahead and date all of my pages as I'm going. So, that is a staple for me. Um, oh, as far as paper, I mean, number one, without a doubt, October Afternoon. Now, I'm not going to show you all of my October Afternoon because I love all October Afternoon. Um, farmhouse, Sidewalks, and Modern Homemaker are my absolute favorites, but I love, I have almost all of them, uh, all the different sets, but I love their paper. I love all of their embellishments, like the buttons and um, tin pins. And I never had tin pins before. I never really purchased them. But one of my awesome blog followers and YouTube followers, um, Eileen, hi Eileen, thank you, <laughs> um, sent me a whole bunch of October afternoon stuff, like these buttons, the Rocket uh, Rocket Age buttons and tin pins and a couple of other things. And I, I was it was like Christmas for me when I got that box. So, but I'm in love now with tin pins. As a matter of fact, I just used these on my last layout. So. So, October afternoon for me is a staple in my craft room. Um, paper trimmer. I love my Fisker paper trimmer. And I got this sometime last summer, and I've replaced the blade on it um, a couple of times. But um, I had the silver one, the black and the silver one, and that one gave me a hard time even with new blades. So I love this one because I can use the... And I got this for, tip from Jennifer McGuire, um, is that it has this little, like thin um, wire that goes through and it helps you really line up and you can kind of see where you're cutting at. So, must have for me. Um, another thing that has to be in my craft room um, for uh, scrapbooking and stuff like that is I'm just over like the past couple of weeks um, towards the end of 2011 um, purchased some Studio Calico Mr. Hueys because I had seen people using them like Jennifer McGuire, not Jennifer McGuire, um, uh, Nicole McGorick uses these a lot on her scrapbook pages, and I loved just the, the calico white and how she um, kind of does it as a splatter. And then they came out with the calico shine. So these are my two favorite Mr. Huey uh, sprays. And then for, um, let's see, for stamping, I, first of all, have to have, and thanks to Jennifer McGuire, the Fisker Stamp Press. This thing comes in so handy when I am 
working, uh, especially with my paper tray ink stamps and dies, and you can see this thing's you know a mess because I use it so much. Um, but it helps so much to line things up, so I recommend one of these. Um, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything because I keep missing stuff as I'm going. So for stamping, obviously, if you guys follow my Stampin' on Friday videos, you know that I'm a total paper tray addict. I love paper tray ink uh, stamps. I love their craft card stock. Um, I love so much of their stuff, but paper tray ink stamps are one of my favorites. Now these are just the three latest ones that I, I picked up. You guys would be so proud of me. I did not go crazy at the last paper tray ink release. I only spent like 30 bucks. I know. <laughs> Next up is my paper tray ink dies. I love paper tray ink dies. I've been ordering them since probably since they started bring, coming out with them. So I have quite a few. And um, I showed in a video a couple weeks ago or two weeks ago maybe my paper tray ink die storage. But I love paper tray ink dies. And I try to only buy unless I'm really in love with the stamp set that has the basic, the shapes to coordinate with the stamps. I try to buy the ones that I know I can use like for sentiments and, and stuff like that. So I love tag shapes and, and like I have these for fusion and I know I can use these other ways. And the rockets and uh, the rocket and the frog hop. Now those are really specific to the stamp set. So I don't buy a lot of these. I have a few, but I don't buy a lot. I try to stick with things I know I can use in other ways, like these button dies I use all the time. I have this little mini tab die. Um, this is uh, one that coordinates with the uh, airplanes, and this one are little stamp sets. And there's tags that match it or stamps that match it. But you know, so I try to stick to those kind of things, like the the mat stacks and the limitless limitless layers and stuff like that. So paper tray ink dies love. All right. Um, as far as die cutting, I love EK Success Punches, and I like to buy the ones, I don't like to really buy the ones that are shaped, again, I like the ones that you can use in more ways than just um, the one specific shape, like this one um, I can use for a sentiment. I can fold it in half and use it as a, a tag topper. Um, I can use it for stamping an image on the inside, so I really like these, and I've recently just started purchasing the layers ones, and certain ones like shapes I'll buy like hearts or butterflies, but I won't go out and buy, you know, things that I might not use more than just one way. So love my EK Success punches. Um, next is Baker's Twine. Um, I love all Baker's Twine. My favorite is from the Twinery and also Divine Twine. Um, and then I also have my vintage twine, which comes from Kim, um, Kimberly over at my craft spot. So those I love. Um, and then I also love Paper Tray Inks um, twine. I love this stuff, and it comes in two different colors. This is the darker color, which you can see I'm ready to... I need a new spool, and then also the lighter colors. So, love those. Um, and then finally, um, I think finally... No, I have one more after this. No, I have two more. Okay. My Tim Holtz ruler, I love. I, I use this all the time because I use it a lot for measuring um, when I'm getting ready to post the uh, things on my blog and what size something might be or after I cut something because I'm not a cut it specific. I'm, you know, usually I am on my videos, but um, if I'm working on a scrapbook page and I want to know a measurement or something like that, I have this out all the time. Plus, it has little holes that you can do your paper piercing if you wanted to use this for paper piercing. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything else before I do my last two, which I think I'm okay. I think I think I am. Um, next up is Technique Tuesday. Thank you, Terry Berry. <laughs> she she got me hooked on Technique Tuesday, um, and I joined her the Ali Edwards, especially the Ali Edwards stamps because these are fabulous. I just used the Celebrate Being a um, Kid stamps on my layout I did the other day and I used this one the other the other day too from I love the remember this and and um, love you here love this I mean I just love Ali Edwards stamps for scrapbooking so that is um, you know I joined the monthly club to get them as they released every month that's how much I love them so and that's Terry's fault <laughs> sorry Terry but it's true uh, next and finally is my scrapbook album um, I've done the post-bound ones, and I'm not a fan, um, especially when I got back into last year, I started scrapbooking 
scrapbooking again. And um, so I found this one at Joanne's. It's a Pioneer photo album. It's a 12 by 12, three ring, two and a half inch ring. And I love this because I'm going to be able to put more than one year. Um, I could put two years in here. So 2010 and now 2011 because that's where I'm, I'm starting off with this for this year. I'm always a year behind. Um, but maybe I'll get caught up someday. Depends on how much I get done. But this is like, you know, all of 2010 is in here. Um, so I love, love, love this album. I'm, I'm going to, next time I see them on sale, probably invest in another one. So, and I think that's it. So... I hope I didn't miss anything. Okay, well, that's my 2011 favorites um, and must-haves. And down in the description of the video, I'm posting my five other um, YouTubers to share your favorites and must-haves. So tag your it.